Hello, this is Brian Buffington from Pioneer Risa, and I want to show you how to create a basic teacher website using free Google Sites. You will need a Gmail account or a Google account, and if you were to go to google.com and go to sign in, you'll be prompted to get your to give your information, your login information, but if you don't have an account, you'll need to sign up for a new account. Give the information they ask for. Create the account. Once you've created your account, then you will log in. And once logged in, you'll know um, you should have your name here at the top to show you that you're logged in. Go to um, sites. You'll need to look for it. It may be at your top bar. It may not up here. You may need to go to more. And mine's actually located further down. It says sites. So click that. And here's some of the sites I've already created. But let me show you how to create a site from scratch. Click this button that says create. For today's purpose, I'm going to show you just how to use a blank te template. But they do have templates for classrooms and other things. Now you'll need to give your site a unique name. Um, science class will probably already be taken. As you can see down here, uh, the URL will be sites.google.com slash site slash whatever name you want to give it. But some of the more generic names will be taken already. So just you may have to get creative and use numbers and things. Select a theme. They have a list of themes that you can use to style up your page. There's some other options. Um, since this you know, I'm showing you how to create a teacher website. More than likely, you'll want pretty much anybody to get to it, uh, especially if it's informative. You're not putting personal information on there. Um, this is for parents uh, and students. Type in the code shown below to prove you are who you say you are, and hit Create, and you will have created a page. Now let me show you how to edit that page. Let me go back to one that I've created. Let's do Mr. Buffington's class. Okay, so here's my my website I created. Now, the first thing you need to know is there's two main buttons up here. There's lots of buttons, but two that you'll want to be familiar with. Edit page and new page. Edit page, new page. So the very first page you'll actually go to when you create your page will be your home page. And you'll want to hit edit. And voila, we can now edit the home page using a familiar word processing edit bar. As you can see my cursor is right here. I can you know, type in test if I like. I can also insert many things into this page. You click insert images, hyperlinks, um, horizontal lines if I want to break up some of the information. Uh, Google Plus One which is um, you know used with their uh, the new Google social networking that they do. If you, if you like Google Docs and you have calendars and documents, uh, this integrates well too. You can uh, include videos from YouTube and other areas, even maps. So tons of stuff you can insert. Um, formatting issues, you know, formatting things you can do that's familiar with uh, Microsoft Word, tables, and layout. You know, right now I'm just using a big one column layout. If you want to get fancy, you can do multiple columns and um, all kinds of things, all right? Right, and so of course after you edit a page, like most things, you'll want to save it. So you hit save and it'll save it. I'm going to cancel this because I do not want this saved. Are you sure you want to discard your unsaved changes? Yes. Alright. Now another thing you'll need to know how to do is actually how to create a page. Because right now you're probably just stuck with your home page, but you'll need to create some. As you can see here on the left, I have a first period earth science page, second period math, and I have sub pages. So let's show you how to do that. Now remember, remember there's two important buttons, edit page, and the other one is new page. So let's click that. Let's create a new page. We need to give it a name. Let's say I want to name a page favorite links. I'm just going to put all my favorite links as a classroom teacher. You could choose a template if you like. We're just going to stick with web page for today's uh, tutorial. And select a location. Uh, where do you want this? Where do you want this thing at? So. Um, I actually want it at the top level. I want it kind of at the same hierarchy as 
the home page button and we'll see what happens there. So let's hit create. All right now if you can notice favorite links is not appearing over here and this is an issue I had earlier but let me show you how to you know, find it and, and fix that problem. But I am on the favorite page or favorite links um, page if you look at my URL up here it says uh, Buffington class favorite links so I'm actually just going to hit save and again favorite links is not listed over here like I wanted it to be so if you do if you can't find a page you created you can go to sitemap and you can go to the links that way so favorite links and under more more are some other neat buttons you can have um, you want to go to um, what was it at page settings right here page settings and you want to show this page in this in the sidebar um, and so that'll actually put it in that left with everything else so hit save and there it is there's favorite links and that goes for anything um, now what if I wanted to move this under another page I created well there's a way to do that too I can actually go over here to more and hit move because right now I'm at the favorite links page as you can see up here I'm still on that one I can go to more move and actually I could put it in different places let's say I want it in this earth science folder I could put it there all right so we're creating pages you can create sub pages and uh, put them where you like now edit in the sidebar is um, is important too if you click edit sidebar you get here to the site layout I guess section down here and um, let's say for instance let me go back real quick and show you something over here let's say you don't like the order that you have here like contact me is usually on the bottom of things am I correct so if we put it to the bottom we need to do that so we'll need to click edit set sidebar go to edit navigation which is under the site layout tab and I need to take contact me move it down have some little arrows here and this should be at the bottom I like that much better All right, so hit OK save and we'll see if it did it for me yep there it is contact me and sitemap will always be at the bottom I can't move that alright now what if you're a teacher and let's say you want to give assignments so um, Here's okay. I'm at my first period earth science page, and I can have different things on here. Um, but right under here it says attachments. I found this to be probably the best way to include attachments for assignments, PDFs, um, MV3 is actually pretty much anything you want. You can attach a file, hit choose file, and you get tons of stuff to, to go from there. All right, let me get out of that. Cancel something. There it is. I'm going to cancel up here too. All right. And um, let's look underneath more, see if there's anything else um, that you may be interested in. And, you know, actually, I think that is enough to get you going uh, to have a teacher website. And hopefully, this will, will get you started. Um, please email me at bbuffington at pioneerreset.org if you have any other questions or you want to uh, do some more advanced things with your Google Sites.